I'm here in sunny South Bay, Los Angeles. Right now I'm at Hermosa Beach, and today we're diving into a topic that's been making waves. <laughs> the silver tsunami. Is it a myth? Are we about to witness a housing inventory revolution? Hey, baby boomer. You want to sell your house and retire somewhere else, do ya? Hmm? Hmm, let's see. Equity through the roof. Property tax is super low. Who needs a new zip code when my home's a gold mine? Me and the missus are doing that new fangled thing called the running in place. Um, I'm pretty sure they call it aging in place, meaning you're staying where you are until you can't manage it yourself. It's not called running in place. Are you sure? Um, yes. Well, that's not what I heard. I know some of you might recently heard whispers about a big shift coming in the housing market. They're calling it the silver tsunami, but that's not happening as quick as everyone initially thought. Wait, are you making fun of my hair color or giving me a compliment? Like I'm a silver fox? <laughs> uh, nope. According to Wikipedia, a tsunami is described as a series of waves in a water body caused by the displacement of a large volume of water, generally in an ocean or a large lake, and earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and other underwater explosions above or below water all have the potential to generate a tsunami. Tidal wave. Like I was saying, a recent Redfin report says a whopping 78% of boomers plan to age in place, comfy and happy right here in their South Bay homes. Well, not just in South Bay, it's everywhere. In Barstow? Uh, this means a few things. First of all, if you don't know, baby boomers were born between 1946 and 1964. Yeah, I'm a boomer. I know. Shocking. <laughs> One of the main reasons housing is suffering from a chronically low inventory is that baby boomers are not moving. So what exactly is this silver tsunami? Well, it's the anticipated surge of homes hitting the market as baby boomers, remember those born between 46 and 64, that they will downsize or just pass away. I'm gonna drop dead. Instead of them doing it all at once and flooding the real estate markets with tons of homes that the millennials and probably can't afford anyway, but- And why are they now deciding to stay a while? Oh, we almost forgot what we were going to do. Why am I outside? Well, first, good for you, boomers. I mean, you get to stay in the homes you love, close to your friends and your family, and that walk on the strand or the sand every morning. But it also means the market is staying tight with fewer houses available for buyers looking to buy. And instead of a tsunami, imagine a gentle tide gradually reshaping the housing landscape. <laughs> Crashing into me like waves on the coast. So why the staycation? Many of you paid off your loans, and if you have a loan, the mortgage rates are probably less than 4%, and your property taxes are no doubt pretty low if you've been in the house for a while. So why mess with a good thing? Plus, let's be honest, who wants to deal with the hassle of moving when you got everything you need right here? Is that a trick question? Let's look at the downside. Less inventory means more competitive market for everyone else, right? Millennials, I'm looking at you. Sorry about that. I feel you, man. Yet with mortgage interest rates surging again, because our economy is still strong and the feds aren't lowering their short-term interest rates because of that, anytime soon, the boomers are deciding to stay put for a while. This week, mortgage rates went back into the 7% and they've been creeping up every day since last week. Fun times. Larg. By the way, if you're thinking about doing what I call scale down therapy and you'd like to have some questions answered, either text me at 310-502-4240 or reply back to the email that you got and I can help you think about timing and what's best for you. Moving on. And hey, there's always a bright side. Really? I'm not seeing it at this particular moment. Our current housing market faces supply and demand imbalance. We're about five and a half million units short of demand, driving prices up and affordability down in the United States. Oh, pfft. that's the bright side? Here's the twist. It's probably not going to be a sudden deluge. It's probably going to be more like a gradual reduction spanning several years. Over the next decade, millions of homes could hit the market thanks to the aging baby boomers. Enter the silver tsunami or the gentle lapping. <laughs> Forget it. As boomers eventually start selling and downsizing, we'll see more homes hit the market, but this should reduce the upward pressure on prices. Not a crash though, but a gradual shift leading to more inventory. It's not a crash. 
By the way, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. And if you know someone who might find this helpful, share it with them. Moving on. Timing matters though, all right? Boomers span almost 20 years. It won't happen overnight. We don't really know. We're just guessing. But fear not. Gen Z and millennials will be stepping up in their demand. Canada probably will offset the boomer exodus. So, is a silver tsunami a myth? Myth, myth. Yes. Not quite. It's probably going to end up being a gradual shift over time and not a tidal wave of inventory all at once. We'll watch and see how this plays out in the near future. Bye.